Welcome to Baffling Mysteries, where the unexplained and the inexplicable take center stage. In today's episode, we're venturing into one of the most perplexing phenomena known to man, Spontaneous Human Combustion, SHC. This rare and mystifying event, where a person seemingly bursts into flames without an external source of ignition, has puzzled experts, inspired countless horror stories, and left skeptics scratching their heads. At the heart of SHC are a few defining characteristics that set it apart from ordinary fires. First, there's the sudden ignition, often without any apparent cause, that leads to the victim being severely burned or even reduced to ashes. What makes SHC particularly puzzling is the limited damage to the surroundings. Furniture, clothing, and even paper materials in close proximity to the victim may remain untouched by the fire. Moreover, despite the intense heat necessary to incinerate a human body, nearby objects and the room itself often escape the ordeal relatively unscathed, a fact that conventional fire science struggles to explain. The phenomenon is not new with accounts dating back to the 17th century. Each case shares a common thread. Victims are found almost completely consumed by fire with their surroundings barely affected. The case of Mary Reeser in 1951 is a prime example. Reeser's charred remains were discovered in her apartment, which remained largely undamaged. The chair in which she was sitting was also relatively intact. This and other similar cases have fueled the debate and curiosity surrounding SHC for years. Attempts to explain SHC have varied widely. Some researchers suggest that internal biochemical or physiological processes might be the key, with factors such as the buildup of methane gas or unusually high levels of phosphorus in the body being potential culprits. These internal reactions under rare and specific conditions could theoretically lead to ignition. On the other side of the debate, skeptics argue that external sources of fire, such as cigarettes or open flames, have been overlooked or underestimated in these cases. They propose that the so-called wick effect, where clothing or other materials absorb body fats and act like the wick of a candle, could explain the intense burning of the body with minimal damage to the surroundings. The scientific community remains divided on SHC. Many experts demand empirical evidence before endorsing the phenomenon as a genuine mystery. Critics of the SHC theory point to accidental external sources of fire as explanations for reported cases. However, proponents argue that certain aspects of SHC, such as the speed and completeness of the combustion and the lack of damage to the vicinity, cannot be fully explained by current understanding of fire dynamics. SHC has transcended scientific debate to become a fixture in popular culture, inspiring episodes of television shows, novels, and films. Its allure lies in the combination of horror, mystery, and the unexplained, making it a perennial topic of fascination. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of spontaneous human combustion, we find ourselves confronted with more questions than answers. The phenomenon challenges our understanding of the natural world and invites us to consider possibilities beyond the conventional. Thank you for joining us on this journey through one of the most baffling mysteries known to humanity. Here at Baffling Mysteries, we're committed to exploring the unexplained and the unknown. If you're fascinated by the mysteries of the world, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. What are your thoughts on spontaneous human combustion? Is it a rare but natural occurrence, an unresolved aspect of science, or something else entirely? Share your ideas and theories in the comments below.